Good evening and welcome back to Bailiwick Fishing. I'm Neil and in today's episode, I want you to guess what we're gonna be doing. So here's the clues. Two reels, fixed ball, some screw eyes, two packs of those, and some bamboo sticks. So one's a uh, yellowy colour and the other one's a green. It's still actually got the uh, bushes and stuff on it. So for those of you that haven't guessed what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be making two fishing rods and out of bamboo. And I'm going to be using fixable reels attached and I will be using these as the eyelets. So this is going to be part one of um, the episode. Part two will be when we're actually testing this. Um, the reason I'm doing this um, now, just pour myself a coffee as well. It's a standard thing when you're doing stuff. Um, the reason we're doing indoor things at the moment or in this episode is because we've got um, stormy weather still. We had Storm Arwen the other day. We managed to get out on the boat on the Monday, which was great. I hope if you've watched that video, then uh, thank you for liking and subscribing. Subscribers are gonna go really, really well. If you haven't watched it, have a watch, click the like button, and uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll be impressed. So, so first things first, what I wanna do is just get the, um, the bamboo, the first one, in the vise. And what we're gonna do is measure the overall distance. So I wanna measure the whole length of the bamboo. Um, and then what we're going to do is allow a set, a set length for where the reel is going to go and then we'll use the, um, the measurements again for where the eyes are placed. Now what's quite handy of bamboo is every set amount on this one, it's got lines. Now that might benefit us, I'm not too sure yet, I'm going to see how that works. So I'll just stick you there and we're going to get a tape measure. So the overall length of the bamboo of we are using today is as, as good as 10 foot. So I think if we put the, the reel, if you're holding that you want to have a bit I think put the reel somewhere around here, which is two foot in. So what I'll do is I'll scribe it with a screwdriver, just like so. What I'm planning to do is obviously, like a normal rod would be, um, the rod, the, the reel will go underneath the bamboo like that, like so and I'll attach it somehow. So what I'll do next is, now we know that the reel's gonna be here, I'm then gonna count up, again, like we said, with, the, with these little screw eyes. So what I'll do is I'll drill pilot holes, probably with a two, two mil drill bit, and then these are twist in, so you just twist them in, and then we'll be able to put the reel on and feed the line through. So let's crack on. So, reels there. From that reel, we've got three foot there. Okay. So I'm just gonna get the Drill now guys, and we're gonna start drilling because I can see where the holes are gonna be already and I'll get back to you in a sec. Right, so just before we do that, I think we should probably put the uh, reel on just so we know what's in place. Okay, well, I sacked off the cable ties. They weren't really working. I wasn't happy with them. So I got Jubilee clips. Um, and all I'm gonna do is just tighten them up around the clamp like so. Get the reel on when it's a bit tighter and they're not moving around as much. A 
Okay. So, just doing, I don't know if you, you won't be able to see this guys at the moment. All I'm doing is just nipping up this. Here you go. This is just a reel. That is absolutely solid on there. So that ain't going anywhere. Might even cut those off. In fact, I will. Where are your safety goggles, guys? You're cutting things. We're using power tools. Just like so. So. There's the Jubilee clips on. I'm gonna move move them around, I think, in a minute. And there it is there. So on to the next bits. Right, onto the eyelets. That's all the lines marked out, and what I've done is I've done them from the reel. There's they're every 20 or 200 mil, so there we go. Yeah, all the way right to the end. Now I'm about to drill with a two mil drill bit. A pilot hole for the little uh, screw eyes. So I've now got the, the fishing rod is now upside down and I'm about to start drilling. So I can just find out where the marks were. One there and one there. Now what I don't want to do is drill right through. So there we go, that's one. Two, right in the middle of the, uh, in the center of the bamboo. Very easy drilling, that's three. Just of a pilot hole for the screw eyes to go in and four. Five. And so on. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll bring you back when I start getting the screw holes into the new rod. Okay, so screwing in the first screw eye. I don't know quite how this is going to go. I'd say that's gone pretty well, to be honest. Okay, so that's me just about finished putting these um, bits of uh, screw eyes for the rod. So, have a look at this. Nice reel, back of the rod, all the way down to the eyes. You can see how much that's looking like a fishing rod already. And it's, it's a bamboo, so it's not going to be the straightest, but to be, to be honest with you, that there is looking awesome. So if I just put it down for a second, what I've done is the top eye is just slightly angled like the fishing rods would be. So all that needs now is some line and we're ready to test it. What I'm gonna try and do um, when we do fishing for this is I'm gonna try and get rocky bashing or ras. Um, and we'll probably be fishing off a pier, so it's going to be dropping straight down um, because I don't think it's going to be a, <laughs> I don't think it's going to be sort of a casting rod. Um, so we'll give it a whirl. Uh, probably bait up with some ragworm or something like that, 
but hey, I only need to catch one fish and that's mission accomplished. So yeah, right, so anyway, that's part one of the episode. Um, the next time you see me, I'll probably be down testing it out. Hey, well, welcome back to part two of Betty Wick Fishing. And what we're doing now is we're heading down the beach. I was meant to get some uh, ragworm from the local supplier. Fortunately, the what stuff I ordered hasn't come in due to the uh, weather conditions. So plan B is to pop down the beach. It's a Friday afternoon, three o'clock. And uh, what I plan to do is dig some logworm before, uh, before it gets too dark. Now I haven't been to this spot for a while, so I don't know if it's been uh, been hammered or not, but we'll soon see. Unfortunately, the filming's going to be quite difficult down here because we've got a southwesterly wind or west northwest. I think it's going round to, um, and there's going to be quite a lot of wind noise. So I will do my best. But this is one of the main coast roads, guys, of Guernsey. So literally, the sea wall is just over just over the top 35 mile an hour is the maximum speed limit in Guernsey so this is what you're allowed to do along this coast road we'll park on the slip there you go so straight off the coast road and we're looking at a west coast of Guernsey just over here is Leo Island you'll soon see that in the next few months when we go and do some foraging we go around that area it's one of the areas and this is actually called Peral Bay uh, it's great with the law fishing off here um, there's uh, people go to forage for abalone or ormas if you're local uh, but today we're gonna go bait digging now it's a shingly beach there is some sand there is a bit of sand in the middle of the bay that's where we're gonna be looking for the uh, for the logworm so just while we're waiting um, for the tide to drop off a bit I just want to say a big thank you to everyone as always you guys have been great you've really really been encouraging with the likes and subscribing um, if you haven't subscribed and you're watching and you enjoy this content then hit that like button hit the subscribe it's absolutely free and it really is appreciated now as this video stands um, it's a Friday afternoon as I said on the on the way here I'm on about 900 subscribers so by the weekend I'm hoping to get to the magic number of a thousand as I've had in my head from the from day one I've, and now I'm going to spoil a surprise, I've got some Bailiwick fishing hoodies coming. Um, they should be here next week and I'm going to be doing a giveaway when we get to a thousand. I will do my first ever live and I will do a gi live giveaway of a Bailiwick fishing hoodie and also be giving away some lures and some other fishing tackle. Another announcement I've got is... I'm in my car today, or one of my cars, but usually I'd bring the van. I've got a transit van. For those of you who don't know, it's quite a big van. Um, and what I've decided to do uh, is I'm getting the whole van uh, sign written. So it's gonna have my Bailiwick Fishing logo and all my other bits and bobs over it. Now this is the whole van, both sides, bonnet, back doors, the full works. Anyway, when that comes, Oh, well, that's getting done next week. So when that's all sign written up, I'll give you a show of that. I'll give you a show next time of hopefully I'll be wearing one of the new hoodies so you can have a chance to see what you could win if you picked out on that lucky number when we get to 1,000 subscribers. shingle over there I always like I always like uh, walking around after storms and you get uh, stuff brought up on the beach here you go you can see the uh, side of a cuttlefish um, budgies and parrots love these for sharpening their beaks 
we'll just have a moot tram while we're uh, while we're waiting for the tide to drop off. In fact, I'm going to pick a, bit, a few bits of litter up as well. Traffic road, road uh, light. Someone's magnetic number plate. That's something you don't see every day at the top of a beach. Nice scallop shell. While we're here guys is another local thing uh hedge veg although it's a wall here so you can buy these potatoes just at the side of the road here like this guernsey potatoes two kilos two pound a bag 2.5 kilo or no 12.5 eight pound a bag so yeah it's all on, done on an honesty box as well so yeah it's very good over here for that sort of thing back into the wind I just wanted to get rid of that litter before. Where did I leave my fork? See around here, the birds where their feet have been going. Digging was fun, guys, eh? Now, this is the sandy bit I was talking about, guys. This is usually where I dig the log web, but you can see it's completely like a carpet, and that's because of the strong winds and the uh, seaweed's just been ripped off. It's not gone down far enough over there, so we can't dig any lockworm. So I'm gonna go for plan plan C. So 
I'm going to use some limpets. Now, one thing with limpets is, for instance, like here, you don't, you don't take. Sorry for the wind, guys. I've got it behind me. The bucket's gone again. Don't take all the limpets in uh, one big batch. Maybe take one here, one there, then go elsewhere. You don't want to take a whole family of them. But yeah, we're going to try with some limpets and hopefully they work tomorrow. find any uh, any goodies that have been washed up or if we can pick some litter up that's even better a bit of fishman's uh, twine plastic bottom every time I come to the beach guys I'll pick uh, a bit of litter up or or two or whatever but so there's a bit of driftwood as I was talking about look at that all rounded at the corners probably make a good chopping board that to be honest my boat in fact I'm gonna take that that's a good chopping board we'll take that Right guys, well, just got a phone call from the local tackle shop who originally said that they weren't expecting it in because of the uh, the weather or whatever else. They've just phoned me and after all of that bait digging, I'm trying to bait dig for that log worm and uh, all the rest of the bits and bobs, phoned me and said, we got you half a pound of ragworm in. So I've just come down here and the absolute legends have given it to me and it is absolutely perfect. So yeah, well done to the uh, local tackle shop. Now we'll be on the fish. Just dropping down for the first cast. Some of you will recognize this as the place for squid fish. Some bites guys, we've got fish on. Don't know what this is. It's on the bamboo. Come on. No idea what this is. If I get this up, it's mission accomplished. Oh, she's a nice wrasse. Check this out, guys. First cast on the bamboo rod, and we've got ourselves the target species. Absolutely buzzing. So there we go. Homemade bamboo rod, first cast, and we've done it. Look at the size of that. What a beauty. Nicely hooked. Get him off. Look at that for a fine fish. What a beauty. He's engulfed my little, uh, that, that ragworm. I'll get him unhooked and then we'll get down for another drop. Oh, perfect. I've just taken one of the hooks off because I think it's a bit much to have two. So we're dropping back down again. I've missed an eyelet there, look at that. So if you haven't watched what, how I made this rod, it was made from bamboo from my boss's garden. And um, these eyelets are all 200 millimeters um, apart. And they're basically from our uh, hardware shop. So it was actually a local one called Norman Piet. So I got those, pilot hole drilled in the, into the bamboo. And then uh, Jubilee clipped on, a fixable reel, just an old, Tatty one, first cast, and we got what we came for. Let's see if we can get some more. 
All I'm doing is just, just off the bottom. I'm not on the bottom. It's quite sludgy here. Look at this, guys, though, for a point of view. That's what I'm looking at. And that's what you'd be looking at if you were holding on the rod. There's the eyelets. It's, it's a stiff rod. I, I, I didn't want it to be too whippy for my first try. I wanted it to just, just to be, you know, on the safe side. But yeah, it's worked well. We might try one in the boat next. Whoa, here we go again. That was a nice bite. Just while we're doing that, here comes the Herm boat. That's the uh, Herm's own, uh, it's their own boat, that as well. That's the one we saw out in the boat in one of the videos. Here we go again, bikes again. Small fish. Oh, fish on again, guys. Got the rod going. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, it's going for it now, look. If it doesn't come off. Another monster, right? It's even bigger. I don't know if I'm going to get this up. Check this, guys. Talk about finely hooked. Look at that. Just through. So that's great. Okay. There's another ras there, fine ras. Well, I'm well happy with this, guys. The bamboo rod's done its job. We've had two ras today. Um, I gotta go, so thanks for watching the video. Really hope you enjoyed this one, guys. This was a new one for me and uh, mission complete. So if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe. There's gonna be plenty more to come. This was only a taster. We'll see you next time.